viewers welcome to yet another interesting video on data mining so uh, in my previous video i discussed regarding the kdd process that is the knowledge discovery from data so today we will be seeing an architecture of the data mining system so let's see here what is the architecture or how it looks like so this is the diagram so focus here so this is the uh, architecture of a typical data mining system like how it looks so uh, here there are different layers basically so the important layers which are involved in this architecture that will be uh, seen uh, in this part that is on the right hand side so let's see a quick uh, overview of what this architecture basically consists of so uh, at the base level you can see there are many other repositories and other uh, storage mechanisms like you have database you have data warehouse worldwide web from the internet and other information repositories uh, your grids jdbc files excel files and all those things so this becomes the base layer where all the uh, information are stored in the uh, databases or where the other kind of repositories are present so uh, when we go uh, to the next level that is from the kdd steps we have the data cleaning integration and selection activities uh, that remains constant for this then we move on to the higher layer that is up the architecture uh, like how it gets constructed so there we have got a database or a data warehouse server from where we can uh, connect or uh, while we do some querying or manipulation activities when we perform dml or dcl command activities uh, it needs to connect to a server so that's why you have a database or a data warehouse server uh, to be uh, kept or implemented in this architecture so uh, this is the role what uh, it does in the architecture of a typical data mining system uh, next we go up we have a data mining engine that is a DME uh, which is uh, done most of the part for all the characterization and all classification activities uh, then we have pattern evaluation module so this is basically uh, basically used for the interestingness measure to extract uh, in order to uh, refine your queries and to extract that typical pattern from your database and then you have the user interface uh, where you can uh, communicate with the data mining system uh, like you have the end user and the data mining uh, system at the other end so you can write different different queries to communicate with the other end system and then you have a knowledge base which is kept here so this is the uh, primary you have the domain knowledge like past experiences or any other reference material or you have to uh, input your current data or past history you have to refer so those all things you can extract or you can refer from the knowledge base and you can very much use in this architecture so uh, that's a quick overview about this architecture what the typical data mining system architecture looks like so uh, then we now have the main components so to talk with we have this knowledge base then data mining engine pattern evaluation module and then this user interface so uh, right so we have the knowledge base here so dk stands for uh, the domain knowledge which is used to guide the search or evaluate the interestingness of the resulting patterns like we have different different queries or with different different uh, motivations we uh, extract different kinds of knowledge from the database so for that we need to have certain kinds of past experience or transaction histories or something like that to drive our uh, particular query search so for that we have this knowledge base basically so that is kept here and it basically consists of concept hierarchies so what concept hierarchies does is it organizes uh, different attributes into different levels of abstraction so you can get a view from at different angles or different sides of a cube you can get to know like what all parameters or uh, measures are required uh, to segregate or to classify this kind of uh, particular search and then you have user beliefs uh, which assesses patterns interestingness based on its unexpectedness this is something like that uh, you have a, a new scenario which is given but there are no particular algorithms but only you can uh, have trial and error mechanism to evaluate that particular uh, process or activity so it's like uh, consider the case of a uh, human being like uh, we have got some new scenario uh, like we don't have any particular algorithm or steps to solve in that scenario uh, say for in that particular case now what as a user what as a human being will do uh, he will assume its own presumptions like uh, take so and so constants as uh, so and so and then he will try to solve or he will try to approach that particular problem so what he does is uh, he basically uh, 
search for this knowledge base search for that particular query in that knowledge base and then he will try to extract certain kinds of patterns or interestingness measures and then he will try to apply it to its his own process for which he is uh, intended to so that's where the user belief is there and if he get some kind of knowledge from that or while his user belief is proven to be true then what it is is he updates into that knowledge base so uh, what this arrow basically this bidirectional arrow to pattern evaluation is that it basically inserts anything which the user gets during his uh, journey or it can even refer so this is basically a reference a reference from knowledge base for any transactions to proceed further it basically refers that knowledge base and then it uh, applies to the pattern evaluation process similarly to the data mining uh, itself he, uh, he can also refer that particular knowledge base and he can drive his search results so here no uh, insertions or uh, push request is there but only pull he can only pull some kind of information or knowledge from the knowledge base here you can do both the push and the pull activities so then he can have interestingness constraints thresholds and metadata so all these things can be done in knowledge base so metadata is nothing but uh, heterogeneous information from different different kinds of sources of data like you have web page data you have uh, word file data ppt data pdf data then database uh, then grid data and so and so so all those kinds of informations are metadata so it's like uh, data or information about information or data about data it's called as metadata next we have the dme that is the data mining engine which is the heart of this architecture so uh, it has a set of functional modules for tasks such as characterization association correlation analysis classification prediction cluster analysis outlier analysis and evolution analysis now characterization is used for characterizing on based of different categories then association or correlation analysis it's like uh, a kind of relation like if parameter is equal to this and if this parameter is equal to this then you apply some composite rules or uh, singular rules for extracting that kind of patterns then you have classification classifying based on some set of uh, constraints and prediction then cluster analysis then outlier analysis if there is there are any kind of noise or inconsistent data within that database you use outlier analysis and evolution analysis finally if there are any kind of regression activities which have been previously done and if it is not reflected then you have to do evolution analysis like if there are any changes which are done in the database then you have to evaluate it as and when possible next we have the pattern evaluation so that is the layer about the dme so pattern evaluation employs interestingness measure like i have said and interacts with the data mining module and it filters out uh, certain discovered patterns based on its previous uh, history of previous transactions and this module that is pattern evaluation module you can actually integrate it with the data mining module so that all the uh, push activities or the push data can be confined to search for that particular pattern like um, whenever any new data is uh, like extracted from your journey what you have to do is you just have to push those data to the data mining engine so that uh, your search is confined only to that particular process which you are relevant to your analysis task so you will not go anywhere diverted from that task but you will only be focused to your search only next you have the user interface so that's pretty much simple it communicates between the end users and the data mining system via some queries like data mining query you can have uh, dcl data control language or data manipulation language dml commands or any other commands which you want and focus on search the exploratory data which is there or you can either browse the data warehouse or data stream that is ds and evaluate the mind patterns and finally you can visualize those mind patterns into appropriate forms like in aggregations or summary results so uh, these are the different blocks or the important building blocks of a typical data mining architecture system so well that's all about the data mining system architecture so hope you enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my video